Okay, this next step is easy. It's a little bit tedious, but it's very important. At the moment, although it looks like we've got one aeroplane, it's still seeing it as two objects. Okay, uh, and we need to put these together, which we've already done once, we're just going to repeat it again. So if you just select both sides, so you can drag to select or shift to select to get them both. And then you just need to click on Mesh Combine. Okay, and now whenever you select it, it sees that as one shape, but there is still a problem with it. It's still not completed at that stage. If we go into vertex mode, if we just go in and select one of these vertices and then move it, you can see that there are two vertices, not just one. So these have got to be combined to create one. Which means what you need to do is go into your top view, assuming that your mesh is nice and clean like mine, you've got a clean center line. And you're just going to start at the front of the aircraft. Okay, and you're just going to select these center vertices. Make sure you drag a box. If you just click, you'll only select one. If you drag a selection, you select everything within that marquee that you create. So you have to work your way all the way along the aircraft. Okay, so I'm just working my way back. Okay, getting them all. Make sure that you only get the ones on the center. Otherwise, you will get some very strange results from this. Okay, and there we go. I've got that one. That one, that one. You might need to zoom in a little bit more towards the end where things get close together. It's very important you get the vertices that you need, so it's worth taking the time to zoom in and be careful about this. Okay, and then just the ones at the back. Okay, so I've now got them all. Now this bit is the important bit. I'm going to merge them. Okay, so if you click on Edit Mesh, you'll see Merge. Don't just click on Merge. It could go mental if you do that. Click on the little options box. And it brings up the threshold. It'll only merge vertices that are within a certain distance of each other. So if this is, let's say, 10, they'll all merge together into one point in the middle. It'll look crazy. Try it if you want. I'm not going to. It'll look crazy. Um, what you do want is 0.01 should be OK. OK, it's OK for mine. I've already tested it. So if I click on Merge, they have now all merged together. So now there is only one verti vertex for each of those points. So if I change back to my perspective view, put it into object mode and deselect, you can see, there we go, that is now just one object. The only problem we've got is that you can still see a visible seam down the middle. That's easily fixed. All you have to do to do that is just click on your plane again, click on normals and soften edge again. And then because there's a new edge just been created, that wasn't softened last time, so now it's gone. That's much better. Okay, so we have now almost completed what I think we can say is a very sexy looking Spitfire. Um, the only bit left is the nose cone and the propel skis. Um, and then we can leave it, as far as the modeling side of this goes, um, we can leave it at that. And we'll look at um, texturing in the next videos. So let's go to the next video, sort out this nose cone, and then finally we're getting somewhere.